Hi there, my name is Laura Waldman and I'm a healer and a freedom coach. And today I'd like to speak to you about the number one mistake that people make on their healing journey. So, I want to tell you a little story first about me. When I first started on my spiritual path or my healing journey, I was really taken by some of the teachers that have come along on my path. I really put my teachers up on a pedestal. I was under the point of view that these people were like the most enlightened, amazing people I'd ever met. And what I realized is I'd judged them to be perfect. I judged them to be this thing that I'd craved and longed for my entire life, like what I would call unconditional mother or unconditional father. And I turned them into a, a mini god, so to speak. Now what happened as time passed, I started to experience or notice some of their human flaws, or just the fact that they were human. And I found this deeply disappointing. And this has happened to me over, you know, over again, a, a number of times in my life. And what I realized is there is a part of our human nature that desperately wants to give our power away. That there is this thing where we are looking for something outside of ourselves. We're looking for the answer from someone else or something else, something outside of us. But the thing that is most important for you to know is that everything you look for, all of the answers lie within you. That you are your own guru. <laughs> you are the one that you've been looking for. And because of our beliefs, our negative programming, you know, let's say low self-worth or low self-esteem, it can be really hard to feel that or connect to that, but it is the truth. So with this conversation today, I really want to ask you to put your awareness goggles on. This is what I say to my kids. When you are working with anyone, really look at who that person is. There are a lot of leaders out there, teachers out there who are really happy to manipulate you and really happy for you to give your power to them. So what I really uh, want you to do is trust in you and trust in what you know. We have people out there who you could call masters or enlightened beings, but they are still human. They're still having a human experience. And these people also experience what you could call human flaws or shortcomings. There's no one that is quote unquote perfect. <laughs> it's very disappointing, I know. <laughs> I was looking for this. It doesn't exist. So the thing is, is that when someone is in a teaching mode, that they may be in their mastery, they may be in the energy of the master while they're in their teaching role or while they're, you know, writing their book or whatever it is. But they also have a side of them that is human, that is having this human experience and, you know, makes quote unquote mistakes. So it's really important to take people off a pedestal because at some point that person is going to fall off the pedestal that you put them on and it, it will be very disappointing. Trust me, I know, I've done this lots of times. <laughs> so, you can gather information from all over the place, from people, places, events, all sorts of things. But this information should be designed to empower you, to help you to connect to what you know within yourself. If you work with anyone or any situation where you feel disempowered, where you feel less than, it's time to put your awareness goggles on and ask some questions about what's going on here. Everything you do should be about strengthening your sense of self, growing your sense of self, reconnecting to who you truly are. For me, all of this stuff is about reminding, 
you. That everything you look for, everything that you long for, is within you right now. There's nothing that you need to find outside of yourself. There's nothing that you need to get to be whole and complete. It's all there now. I see this like a diamond in the rough. So you're, there's a diamond in you, just longing to be discovered. But it might need to be chipped away at or, you know, the rocks pulled away, the dirt cleaned off in order to discover this diamond. But the diamond exists. There's no person, there's no thing, there's nothing outside of yourself that's going to give that to you. It's already there. So you are the one that you've been waiting for. You are the guru, <laughs> your own inner guru, your own inner teacher. Now, we, of course, we need each other. We are, we are here to share and have an experience with each other. And there are certain things that will come into your life to teach you, to guide you, but really the word is, for me, is to remind you, to awaken you to you. So, I just want to bring your awareness to this thing I'm calling false gods. That there's an idea that someone or something knows more than you. Watch where you're looking to give your power away. I see it all the time. People really are quite quick to give their power away. It's all about you discovering your own inner power. So just put your awareness goggles on with whoever you're working with, whoever you're giving your money to, and whoever you are getting support from. There's a lot of funky energies out there, so trust in what you know, trust in your heart, and then you will know that will be your navigation system. This is your intuition. Listen, your intuition won't be fear-based. Your intuition is just a knowing. So trust in what you know, because you do know. And it's okay, because sometimes we do need help and support. We all do. I do. It's a part of being human. It's part of this experience here, and that's okay. Just follow your heart, trust in your gut instinct, and know that everything you look for is with you now. It's within you right now. If you need any help or support with this, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact me. I'd be very happy to hear from you. Until then... <laughs> Go out and enjoy being your own guru. <laughs> Take care. Speak to you soon.